Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel Rigging in 3D Studio Max Chapter 4. In this chapter, we'll move on to the rigging of the character we have started, and in this chapter, we'll create the hip bones and we'll see how we are going to connect or create the entire lower body structure except the foots. Okay, so start with we'll first create the hip bone. Now for creating hip bone go to animation bone tools choose create bone and create a single small bone just under the pelvis bone we have created. It's not it's a very small one. Just delete the end part and see there is no garbage value in the rotational axis. See let's make it ninety and it will be perfect straight. So by creating this hip bones what we are actually trying to do is this will be the uh, root joint of the entire lower body part now we have to connect this hip bone to the uh, leg bone so select this bone connect bones and click out to the leg bone and you see oh, before that uh, before that you just have to you know, reposition it and make it just underneath the uh, pelvic bone then select the hip bone connect bones and select the leg bone so <coughs> now what we'll do we'll mirror the thing entire thing in the right side double click on the on this uh, connective bone and say mirror and the ax x axis minus x axis the opposite okay and this is perfectly mirrored because my uh, the body structure is absolutely you know, symmetrical which you have to understand that uh, if the body structure is not absolutely symmetrical the mirror thing will not gonna work for you so now we'll see what why we actually uh, <coughs> create that mm, uh, uh, hip bone separately because I want this movement I mean the lower body movement uh, happen without being you know uh, bothering the upper body uh, for understand this more clearly what we have to do first uh, we have to create an IK chain in the in the leg part so for creating the IK chain select the parent bone move to the animation IK solver HI solver which is history independent solver this solver is generally used for uh, creating a long animations and history dependent solvers or HD solvers has been used for the short animations so in general we don't use the HD solvers now we definitely going to use for HI solver select HI solver and then select the child bone exactly the right you know the small bone and we'll see that yes uh, the IK solver has been created now select this bone this right leg bone and say IK solver HI solver and same okay before creating that just just let me delete this just before creating that IK no select all the joints press alt right click and freeze transformation okay now you are actually ready to create the IK solvers select this right leg bone HI solver and click it so both the you know <coughs> uh, I can solve as been now what we'll see if I rotate this hip bone you will see it's create a, a lower pelvic you know lower hip movement of the character sideways which is very very important while we are creating the walk cycle the back and forth movement and the rotation and all this movement can be done without bothering the upper body part now that is very very important but because sometimes I don't want to you know, bother the upper upper body or lower body part just want to create uh, the you know uh, lower body part uh, don't bother don't want to bother the upper body part so if we select both I mean if we directly connect you know, my leg bone with the pelvic one what will happen is this I don't want that I actually don't want that so <coughs> uh, that's it 
and uh, in the next chapter we will move on to the foot uh, bone structure and we will see how we are going to uh, maintain a uh, foot movement according to uh, human legs thank you very much